Hey YouTube, this is James with Last Heart Games. I picked up this Wii with another broken console a lot, and I've got an itching to play some Elibits. The Wii turns on fine, but it's not accepting any discs. Let's open it up and see what we can do about this. The first thing we need to do is open the Wii up so we can take a closer look at the disk drive. With the disk drive out, let's open it up so that we can clean the lens. Sometimes when a Wii is rejecting a disk, it's just that the lens is dirty and it can't detect that the disk is even there. With a Q-tip and some alcohol, I'm going to carefully clean the lens and two additional sensors. These two sensors detect if a disk is put into the drive. Even after cleaning the lens, you can see that it still rejects the disc. But check this out. If I push on the center here, it actually spins up and reads correctly. So this seems to me that something's actually going wrong with the physical mechanism that actually moves this part of the drive. Let's take the drive out, open it up, and take a closer look at this mechanism. Here I'm just inspecting the mechanics of how this works. It appears to mostly be driven by this slider instead of gears on the side. I'm just generally trying to troubleshoot what's going on here and just get a better understanding of how the mechanics of this actually work. There's a lot of interplay and moving pieces to this and I want to get a better understanding of sort of what causes what here. If I turn this gear, this thing slides, which causes this to lower, that kind of stuff. From what I can tell, the motor, which is driving this belt that I accidentally popped off, is actually driving a gearbox which is sliding this part of the drive here. This mechanism is actually what lowers down this clamp and grabs the disc so that the motor underneath can spin it and actually read. It seems to be something's jamming or not sort of aligned right for this mechanism in and of itself. So I need to take a closer look at it and see if I can understand kind of what's going wrong with this whole setup. On this side piece, when it's, it's sort of disengaged, there's a lot of free action as it moves side to side. There's actually a set of teeth on the inside of this, which the gears inside the gearbox actually capture and pull, but there seems to be something in place that needs to move this into position so that the gears can grab it. Let's take this piece that fell out, try to figure out where it goes and put it back into place, and then reassemble our disk drive and install it back into the Wii 
I suspect here that something is going on with the top part of this drive that actually moves the pieces underneath to slide that piece on the side into place. So I'm wondering if something is misaligned there. So what we're going to do is install it back in the Wii, turn everything on, and take a look at it as it's actually running to see if we can identify where it's going wrong. So here I found a point in the corner of the disk drive that actually moves everything into place so that the gearbox can grab a hold and lower this clamp down. Now I need to figure out where on the top aligns with this piece in the corner so that I can see if something is going wrong with the top part of this drive that maybe isn't pushing this all the way or where it needs to be in position. There's actually a few times in this where I'm sort of fiddling around trying to understand how everything works where the disc actually goes in and is clamped down and is read like normal. So I feel like this problem is fixable, I just have to figure out exactly how. I'm going to secure the top back on to remove the fact that the top and the bottom are separated as a variable for what's going on here. Testing all the pieces that are exposed at the top of the drive, I think I might have found a culprit for something going wrong. This post kind of in the middle of the drive, if I slightly even touch it, it all clamps down and works as expected. I'm talking just millimeters of movement causes this drive to work. However, when I leave it alone, it still doesn't clamp all the way. So I think I might have found the culprit. Inspecting this top mechanism a little closer, it appears that when inserting the disc, it actually pushes on a lot of these posts to have the drive put everything into place mechanically so that it doesn't clamp down too early and that it knows the disc is in the correct position to get started reading. It seems like that is kind of what's out of alignment here. So at this point I turn off my camera because I want to inspect things a little closer. And I really regret doing so because as you can see, it works now. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know what I did here to fix this. What I did off camera is I looked at the mechanisms a little bit closer to try to figure out exactly where things were misaligning. So this gearbox that I mentioned on the side of the drive, I actually took that apart specifically to look if any of the teeth of the gears or anything were actually worn out. So really all I did is took that apart, inspected the gears, and they all looked fine, and I put everything back together. And when I put everything back together, it suddenly started working again. Which is great because I have a working Wii, but also frustrating because I really don't know what I did. The best I can assume here is that this Wii at some point was dropped or shaken too hard and essentially something got misaligned. And when I took that gearbox apart to look at it and put it back in together, I put it back together in alignment. So it just solved the problem. I wish I had a clearer answer for you. I really do. But this one's a bit of a head scratcher. But at the end of the day, I have a working Wii now. 
and this works consistently. I tried it several times off camera and it all works. So I'm just going to put the Wii back together and consider it done. With everything back together, just like the other Wii that we cleaned out, I bought a new door cover for the GameCube ports. Let's give it another final test. The disc goes in just fine, and it reads the game. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more.